Hi, welcome to Jumpboard and Cadillac with Gracie. Hi. Yay. So we're going to be going back and forth between the Reformer and the Cadillac, doing things for jumps and lands and lots of core work also. So we have set up the jump board already. Her foot bars all the way down. We put the jump board in, tighten up the screws. So make sure that your stars are tightened up so that your jump board is nice and secure. We are starting on a blue spring, which is really light. And she's gonna be holding this hoop and you're gonna hold the hoop out in front of you with soft elbows, almost like you would be in like a, okay. on a, like that boat, okay? And then give the hoop just a little bit of pressure so you start to warm up your shoulders. Mm -hmm. And then put your feet up on the jump board so that your feet can be flat and in line with your sit bones. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now bend your knees, come in. It's going to be like you're going to have to actually work to bend your knees so that you're in your, over your socket. Perfect. So now you see how her knees are right over her hips, which is exactly where she wants to be. And we're going to start right there with pressing off, push, and land. Nice and easy. Now, did you feel on that first push how your core went? Yeah. Yeah, so engage your core, tighten your tummy, hold yourself in neutral, and now push again. Push. Yes, like that. Very, very parallel legs. Good. And always landing right where you took off from. Perfect. Good. Now let's breathe. So exhale when you out. And now come in. Yes. Keep pushing on a little bit. Ooh. Are your socks slippery? Hello. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let me know if you want to take them off. We'll stop and take them off. You decide. Good. I hear a snap, crackle, popping going <laughs> yeah. on. Good. Do two more. Just kind of warming everything up. And now change your hands. So you're going to slide your hands inside your hoop so the backs of your hands are on those pads and you're kind of pressing out. Relax your shoulders and drop them down. Tighten your belly button. And this time you're going to jump in first position. So turn down. But I want you to jump in a lazy first. Oh, okay. Like a, yes, a supermarket, like normal person first. There you go. Yeah. And press with your toes. to um, acro gymnastics on the trampoline. Yeah. <laughs> now this is really good. So it warms up your core and it trains your body to know to be perfectly aligned in the air and a good landing rolling through your feet. So let's do five more. Five. You're pressing on the hoop. You're starting to feel your shoulders warm up. Two and one. Good. Come on in. Okay, so now we're going to hold the hoop down closer to you. And each time you press it out, you're going to press in. So when you jump, you're going to press in on the hoop. Actually, push it. Okay. okay. With your elbows nice and open, like that. And you're going to skip. So parallel legs, skipping. Press. And press. Give it a little tug as you 
fly into the air. Now we're turned out like little Peter Pan skits. Ready, go. 16. Yes. Boom. On this one, because your knee's turned out, do you feel your body wanting to twist toward that side? So engaging your obliques to keep yourself from twisting. That's what your body is using to hold yourself steady. Which is pretty cool to know. It's so neat that there's a muscle for everything. No. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So interesting. Okay, that's eight more. Seven. Keep pulling on the pads. Yes. First, your circles go the second way. I'm going to add this hoop back in here in just a second, just for fun. Four, three. Your knees are starting to cheat. Thank you. And last one. Okay, bring your leg. You bring your arms long next to your sides. I'm going to give you this hoop between your ankles, okay? I promise this is the last, like, mean thing I'll make you do with the hoop. Okay, so bend your elbows like this so they're up next to you. As you straighten your arms, you're going to roll up, straighten your legs over the jump board this way, and roll up and look through the hoop. Yes, squeeze three times, one, two, three, bend your elbows, roll down. Yes, so everything straightens, you look up and you give it a squeeze. Boom, 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 and then roll everything back down, bend everything. Good. So exhale to come up. Yes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And inhale, come down. Lots of control. Let's do two more. Roll up. Boom, boom, boom. Wow, you come up so high. It's so great. And last one. Exhale. You have this nice long neck. Nice. Roll back down. Okay, I'll take this hoop away. Crisscross your ankles and let your knees kind of collapse into your side. Yep, just let, just like that. Just relax. One strap. You're going to bring your arm down next to your hip and give me little circles right here next to your hip. Yes. Okay. So describe to me what's happening to your body as you have that one strap. I feel like it's shifting. Shift, trying to shift? Yeah. Okay, so that's your job, is to keep yourself as centered and from shifting as possible. Reverse your circles. So these are teeny tiny little adjustments that you can make mm -hmm. when you're trying to balance or you're flying through the air and you need to land a little bit differently. These are the little muscles that are going to tweak you to be where you want to be in space. Okay. okay. And then that's finished. And we do the other side. Crisscross your ankles the other way. So the other way gets right on top. Is one side tweakier than the other? Mm -hmm. A little? Uh huh. It's funny how one side is always really strong. And reverse your circles, go the other way. Good. Breathe. And finish. All right, let's go. 
go up on the springs. I'm going to have you add a white spring and then take off your blue and add a red spring. So you're going to end up with a white and a red. Does it matter which red? No, it doesn't matter which red. Okay, so this is heavy. Okay. This is going to pull you back towards the floor very quickly. Okay. So you're going to have to be ready to land. Okay. So imagine that you didn't jump quite as high as you thought you did and yeah. you land sooner than expected. Yeah. That's what you're going to feel. So okay. go ahead and lay down. Just on parallel legs, give it a little experiment. Give it a feel for this tension. See just how much push you need. Boom. Feel that? Yeah. So definitely pulls you down fast. Yeah. Right? Okay. So we're going to go like this. Press out, legs together and apart to land. Not wide apart, but right in high with your hips. Okay. Okay? So press out. Shoot. Yeah. Like a little tap. Four. This is five. Good. Six. Nice neutral spine. Seven. Eight. Okay, now finish. All right. Now, you get the idea? We're going to add a game. Here's the game. Jump, tap once. Land. Jump, tap twice. Land. Jump, three. <laughs> four. Jump once, twice, bump, bump, whoa, three, da, 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 yes, four, bump, 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 <laughs> <laughs> five, <laughs> okay, I think four was our good stopping spot, <laughs> five was like, eh, okay, yeah. so now let's go back, it's four, three, two, one, okay, ready, here we go, four, oh my gosh, <laughs> good, bump, bump, Last one. Duck, duck. One. Beep. Nice. Okay. What happened? What did you feel happen? I felt like when I was building up to it, it was easier than going down. Uh -huh. Like, I didn't really, rem like, even though I did it like 10 seconds ago, my body didn't remember <laughs> how, what I needed to do. What was happening? What's going on? Okay, so now let's turn out and do it in first. And first, if we just jump out and back, get used to this turned out. Okay. And if you want to, now you can take your dancer turn out. Okay. There you go. Two. Good morning, legs. Yes, where are you right there? We rarely start class with jumping. <laughs> I was like, why is this so hard this yeah, time? Well, because it's 8 15 in the morning and you're jumping. Okay, so now let's try those little claps. Okay. Let's just see if you can build up to four. I have a feeling this will be easier because you're turned down. Uh -huh. Nice! <laughs> Bravo! Okay, so now let's try it in fifth. Fifth? Okay. So, how are your socks? Are you still okay with socks? Do you want less slippery? Yeah. I love those socks, by the way. Are those, like, are those the smart wool? Yeah. I love those. They're the best. Oh, gosh. All right. Now, just notice you only have this much jump board. Yeah. Land underneath yourself. Okay. Cores. Ready? Eyes straight forward. Okay. So that your body knows where you are. Okay? Yeah. All right. So just do like a little super so. Beep. Beep. Yeah. Also, is it okay? I'm not fully You're not fully really flat. I was just going to say. I, yeah, you could do that in the first and then turn down. You can yeah. get your heels down. Now we can't. Right? Sure. Is that? Cause Let's adjust your stoppers okay. and your ear bar. So go ahead and roll off. What we want to do is create a little more space so you're not coming in so far. So this is good to watch. We're going to push your gear bar out farther from the jump board and move her stumper back to light. Let's try it on a three the first time. That, that's going to give you about three or four more inches. Okay. And let's go down to just a red. Okay. So we're going to get rid of the white screen for now. Does that feel any better? You still need more. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You 
you still need more, let's give it to you. Let's go like that. Try. This might just be your body. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? We're not going to do it in bed. Okay. <laughs> so we'll keep this setting. But just go from where we're going to work first, go across and land back in first. Okay. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go jump, right leg in front, left leg in front, just easy like that. Okay. okay. So I'm going to adjust your camera, follow this over. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to do the leg springs. So for those of you watching, if you are a tiny, tiny person, these leg springs are way too heavy. So if that is you, then you need to contact me and I'll tell you what to do. Because I do have um, bands that you can attach instead and you can experiment with. That. But Grace is going to go ahead and lie down on her back facing up. Mm -hmm. Make sure you're really centered and we're going to use these leg springs much like we use the straps on the ropes, only this time it's these big heavy springs. Now, nice imprinted spine to start. Reach up with your hands and grab your poles so you can kind of push yourself against it. Otherwise, these springs will pull you back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so reach your legs long and straight. Yep. And you're going to do little walks. You're going to walk, 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 walk. Nothing here gets to move. So breathe in. Exhale out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more set. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Happy hips? Yes? Yeah. So now we're going to take it up, down. We inhale up, we exhale down. Ready? Go. In. Exhale down. Good. Hold that core. Exhale down. Start to jerk you around. Inhale up. And down. You have one more. Inhale up. And down. Gorgeous. Okay. Rest. Bring your heels together. Turn out like a butterfly stretch. Yes. Just kind of let it rest for a second. You're going to do the same thing turned out. Okay. Okay. So, I know. Dancers work really a lot on turnout, mm -hmm. as we've discussed before. So, 
Strengthening your legs in parallel and turned in when you're fresh is really important. So they get stronger and stronger. It does help with your turnout to work your turn in. Which doesn't make sense, but it does once you understand. Okay, are ready for your turnout? Yes. So first we do a set just holding underneath you. Exhale. And now. And exhale, getting tired. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? Think of your core as your strong point. Exhale. You have two more sets. Inhale. And out. Good. Inhale. Center. And out. Good. Okay. Give yourself a rest and then you do the walk up. Walk down. You know, that's the hardest part is keeping it all in the center because like my legs are being pulled. Like when I move, they're like going this way. They're going rawr, rawr, rawr. Yes, that's part of it. That's the core part. Just see these hooks that mark your center. Mm -hmm. If I look at those, it helps me. Or even that chain hanging down on the other end. Does that help you? Yeah. That's the middle. And down. And down. Nice. Okay, bend your knees and bring your legs out of the strap. We're going to take one spring away. We're going to take the second one and hook it in the center. Okay. Now roll over on one side. I'm going to give you a block for your head. This is your pillow. Okay. <laughs> and this, yes, isn't that comfy? Yes. <laughs> Sleep on this brick. <laughs> sweet dreams. Yeah, sweet dreams. Wake see in the morning. Okay, bring that leg down where it belongs, ballerina, and it's parallel leg. Now tighten your core and pick up your waist. Yes, so now you have a neutral spine. So show us a sagging spine. And then show us a neutral spine. Yes, hold it neutral. Okay, little circles parallel. down underneath your hip each time. So it's little, but it's little here, not little here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Little long de jambes. You'll get, like you're getting jerked around. A wee bit. A wee bit. A okay. wee bit. <laughs> A wee bit. Okay, then reverse your circle, go the other way. Drive the cart, drive the cart. Good. So you can't tell from your angle, but she's doing a really good job keeping her back really straight and her pelvis really steady. The thing that you want to watch for on this is you don't want your pelvis and your spine to be moving like doing this, Jess. Okay, that's your work is to hold that steady. Last one. Okay, so now let's turn that leg out and you're going to go like a frog, bend your heel straight into your sit bone, push it out and point your toe all the way to the whiteboard. Oh. Well, let's try to drive it in one line. It stays right here. <laughs> it doesn't get to do this. Yes. Push it straight out and down under you. Is that feel? Yes. Down here. Okay. Yeah. Oh. There we go. So do you feel point as you bend that this spring goes flat? Yes. I want you to stop before you get to that point. So you need to keep tension in the spring the whole time. That way your muscle is always loaded holding something. It's not loaded, unloaded, loaded, unloaded. Not that, that's a different exercise. Okay. There is nothing wrong with loading, unloading, but not right now. Yeah, we just want to keep attention. Can you give me one more? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's make this bigger. So you're going to bend, reach your toe turned out to the ceiling, and here's the hard part you pull down. One. Good. And now this is okay. See how it's slacking? I'm okay with that. 
because we're loading the muscle when it's long and making it be strong to pull down. Hold your, hold your core. Remember that under waist? Yes. So you're not sagging into the floor. Better. Did you see how that changed your range of motion? Yeah, I know. One more. And there you go. Okay, turn it back parallel. And you're going to do big bicycles. This is supposed to be parallel to the floor all the way around. So think of it, it's like a big dinner plate. Mm -hmm. Yes. World's highest giant of pizza. Stay down here. Yeah. You can see in the mirror. Yeah. But it's hard because it's spring. It's not your friend. Yeah. Is it? It's like your frenemy. Yep. Hold your pelvis as you go to the back. Try to drop your tailbone towards the whiteboard. Yes, yeah, so you're fighting against your leg going back. Do you feel that? Yes. It stretches open your hip flexor, keeps your core working. I remember, like, vividly all of this stuff being a lot more difficult. Oh. Like, like it's hard right now, but like when I was younger, I was like, what is this? What's happening to me? <laughs> oh, you were a little girl. Now yeah. you're a big girl. Okay, now you're going to reverse those circles. Go back. You have learned a lot about your body in the last four years, mm -hmm. right? A lot, you have a lot more control and awareness of how you control. Right, yeah. Isn't that awesome? It's crazy it's to me to think cool. about that. Yeah, you come in here like these little, like, dough babies. <laughs> you can't hold anything. You can't hold anything anywhere. Um, slowly you learn how to hold things in place. I got all this stuff in 2017. Because then we started training when I was like April of sixth grade, and then we started Pilates around. Probably a year later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were like 13. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Turn that leg out, and it's going to go up. Bend it in. Push it down low, so you reverse that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like a long time ago, huh? I know. Remember when you could go to the park? Yes. In the summer? It was the best. I loved those days. Those were the days that we just needed to play, mm -hmm. but still exercise. I will not lie, though. Running? I know. That's still been the struggle. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I made the struggle for myself. I also, I joined you in the hatred. I did it. Pick up your weight. Yes. The running was hard. This is grace revealing all our Pilates torture secret. <laughs> One more? And we're going to turn over and do this all on the second oh, side. Oh. Okay, so tell me how this hip feels. The hip feels honestly okay. It's oh, so where do you feel this. it? It's the opposite core side. It's the opposite side. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so your opposite core side is the working. Yes. Is working. Good. Okay, so we started with little parallel circles. Okay. If you remember that part of that. All those minutes ago. All those minutes ago. This is going to be awesome for strengthening your core in those longer holds when you have like longer holds for an Alice Cone, longer holds for turning, mm -hmm. to hold it, strengthening that supporting side. Yeah. I feel like this kind of work is really, really important. Important. It's, but it's the work that we don't really want to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just slow and tedious. It's like, okay, let's do 30 leg circles. That doesn't sound very exciting, but it's what works. Good. And then reverse. Mm -hmm. See? Did it pull you? Yeah. <laughs> Breathing, breathing, connecting your 
through those physically difficult, exhausting motions. Does that make sense? And now we turn out and we do those developing basically. So bend your knees and unbreach toes to the ceiling. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. In and out. Is that your ankle or your knee? That would be my ankle. That would be her ankle. Can you hear it popping? I wonder if they can hear that. Can you hear that on the video? Comment if you can. Every time I take a step down the stairs, especially this ankle, my right one, it just goes Good. It's strong. Like I would be a horrible spy. <laughs> you can't sneak up on anybody. Simply because I cannot sneak up on people. <laughs> you can't. Because of the ankles. <laughs> Check off your list. <laughs> I will not. You don't have to waste mind. time on that career. <laughs> you know? Nice. We have one more. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Then bend your knee, reach to the ceiling. Big pull down. Come okay. to check your back. Beautiful. Very straight. Full, full, full. You feel that on your inner thighs? Yes, but I, I really, especially feel it in this. Um, this underside. The underside on this side, like I'm really trying to keep my waist up and so I'm You're doing it really well. Is this your supporting leg? Is your left leg your supporting leg? Yeah. Normally. Yeah, this is my stronger, like bottom leg, more flexible. Mm -hmm. this one. Two more. One and two. And then we have your turned in bicycles. Yes. You shouldn't say turned in, it's parallel, which is only relative. It's turned in from where you were. There. Oh, good job. I saw you hold your hip. Mm -hmm. So use your abs. Hold your hips. Yes. So she's not letting it just fly back with like a high arabesque to the back, but controlling it. So when you do that, your hip really only has about 10 degrees of extension before you have to arch your back mm -hmm. to lift it higher. And that's not very far. Do you know what 10 degrees looks like? It's not a lot. It's it's a tiny slice of pie. It's a tiny slice of pie. Mm -hmm. Do you know that movie? Have you ever watched um, Confessions of a Shopaholic? No, but I've heard of it. Oh, Grace. Put it on your list <laughs> for sure. Okay. And then when you get to the part where the fashion lady visits her parents and asks her for a little slice of cake, remember this. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty funny. A little slice. A little slice. Smart 
bacteria. That's like multiple steps to get to your host. Isn't that crazy? What? Okay, come parallel. Now, is this where we did our own thing? Yeah. So reach up long straight, bend your knee, push out long and straight. It's called toxo. That was nickname. And then they, this was like the Russian TED Talk from like 2019, and they were starting to do research on whether or not, because if it can affect men, then what is it like to be able to be a human? So like right. we might have toxo. But maybe but it doesn't affect it that way. But it's just like dormant. And even if it is dormant, we're a lot smarter than mice. So yes, we are. So it wouldn't control us. <laughs> but there's a theory that people who really like cats might have toxo. <laughs> That's what's wrong with pet cat people. <laughs> We've solved the long history of cat versus dog people. Isn't that so funny? Yeah. Oh, how are you feeling? Engaged. Engaged. Okay. Feeling Fabulous. Oh. All right. So let's do two things to finish up. Okay. So we're going to take this spring off, and I'm going to give you some sticky grip pads, which these are over on this shelf. You're going to stand up against these bowls and I'm going to let you do some spread people. Um, so, this is going to feel great on that core that you just worked like crazy. Okay. Stand forward so your toes come up on the poles and you're standing on your heels. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so you get good stretch even more. Like, um, yes. Then hang back with straight arms and drop your hips back. Okay, from here, I'm going to let you bend your knees a little bit and do a little work it this way, that way. Yes, big circles. Oh, yeah, don't be shy. And she's not. <laughs> oh. That stretch into that back. Yeah. Get it like crazy. Yes. Okay, now lower your hands just a few inches. The lower your hands go, the stronger stretch you'll get. Oh, yeah. She said, "Good morning." Yes. Okay. So now, are your is your grip okay? Do you feel strong? Yeah. I okay. Just get really sweaty. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, that's why you need these. If you get sweaty hands, which 90% of us do, these poles get so slick. Use the grips. Okay. So straight legs, straight arms, hang back, really flat back. And then you're going to tuck your tailbone under, stop looking in the mirror, and push your hips forward and keep your arms straight. And hang back, drop back, drop back, drop back. Yes. Now inhale, nod your nose and roll through. Keep your arms straight and drop. Yes, you got it. So from your tail to your head to go up, breathe so you don't pass out. And then from your head to your tail, to come down. And if you find any sticky spot anywhere in there that you need to hang out for a second, yeah. hang out and shimmy, okay. you're welcome to do that. So do that twice or three times more through and find those sticky spots. <laughs> Get rid of your kinks. You good? Okay. Tuck and drop. Oh yeah, that feels so good. Yeah. Not through. This is what you do when you have those knots in your back that just will not go. The knot. Will go. <laughs> the knots that will not go. That was funny. Um, or those low back. You know, you feel those cables in your low back from the arabesque that oh. just won't die. Yes what you do. And now bend your knees and just round, 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 round. Oh, you're already you're moving it. Arms are feeling this. Arms are feeling it. Round back and really reach into there. Yes, how's that? So Come all the way back up. Okay. Oh. How do you feel? I feel ready for the day. Yay! Woo! Jump forward, yeah. you did some 
play with your springs, but just be careful if you're loaded very heavy. Anything yeah. above a red is, you need to be careful because you're going to land quick. Um, but it does make you stronger yeah. for jumping higher. So it's good to do that heavy, but you just need to be careful. And then we get lots of hip stabilization with the springs. Yeah. Oh. I feel my core and I feel my legs now. They're like all awesome. warm. So this is like from here down. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you so much.